Hello everybody, and welcome to the Pokemon X Extreme Randomized Nuzlocke. That's right, it actually won in the poll, so I'm, I'm gonna be doing this. Um, that's gonna be a handful to type in every time I wanna upload this. Yeah, this, uh, everyone who voted for it, thank you for voting in the poll. And uh, if you didn't vote in the poll, well, I know who you are. There's no escaping it. Um, basically, I'm going to be, oh yeah, it also tied with, uh, Battle Revolution Nuzlocke, which I think is going to be funny, so I'm going to do it at the same time. Uh, it's just going to come at a different date. Don't don't expect it for a little while. I'm going to make them a bit longer, so it'll take a little more, take a little longer to come out. Um, yeah, so this game's just going to be Pokemon X, um, but everything's going to be randomized. So the types, the moves, the abilities, they're all randomized. Um, the only thing that's not randomized is the evolutions, and the only reason that they're not, well there's actually two reasons. The first one is because, you know, types are already randomized, so even though a Bulbasaur will still evolve into an Ivysaur, it could be a completely different type and it'll have a different ability, so I don't think it matters as much. The second reason I didn't randomize the evolutions is because I forgot, um, <laughs> and I didn't notice until I compiled the ROM and I'm not doing it again. So, yeah, that's, that's, uh, the first reason is kind of more of a justification for the second reason, you could say, but let's just pretend it's not and, uh, move on with that. So everything else is going to be randomized, um, it should be a little chaotic because I won't know the types of the Pokemon I'm fighting, but, uh, I don't know, it should be fun. I didn't randomize stats either, because I thought that'd be a little, <laughs> a little bit too crazy. Um, I wanted the Pokemon to be random, but I didn't want, you know, I, I don't know. We'll just stick with this for now. Luckily the intro to X and Y isn't too long, unlike Sun and Moon. Otherwise I would have skipped it. If I was doing Sun and Moon, I would have just started at the starters. <laughs> but I can just walk up and get my Pokemon. It's a pretty quick game. Not quick game, but a quick start. Okay, I really don't like the starting clothes for the male character. Or the starting hairdo. I wish you could like... Actually, you know what? That's, that's something they actually should do. They should have like a beginning character um, customization thing. So you don't have to go get your haircut as your first customization thing. Oh yeah, and uh, if you were wondering why my cheeks and this cutscene is like bugged out and black, uh, that's just the, that's the problem with what I was doing when I was fixing to randomize this. So don't don't worry about it. Um, it shouldn't really affect the gameplay, I hope. If it does, then we'll have a problem. But as far as I've tested, uh, like when I played Y, it, it didn't break the game itself, so it shouldn't be too much of a big deal. I remember how amazed I was at being able to run diagonally when I first played this game, because they have this like path that's diagonal, I'm like, whoa, the circle pad lets you go diagonally. This game was great. I mean, you know, it, it, when it came out. <laughs> I, th I still think it's a good game, but that's, I, I wasn't really, never mind, let me not get into that. <laughs> okay, so, um, the starters... I'm just gonna pick whichever one I feel like. I don't know if it's gonna tell us the types. Cause I know in black and white, if you randomize the game, it'll tell you the first type of whatever Pokemon you're gonna pick. I don't think it'll do that in this. I think it'll still say the grass type, or the fire type, and the water type, even though they're not. Don't call me, actually just call me Big O. There we go. Um, let's see. Yeah, like I was saying, I, I have no idea what the types are they're gonna be, and I don't think it'll tell me, so I'm just gonna have to make a wild to make a wild guess. Oh hey, these are some pretty good Pokemon actually. And yeah, I don't think it actually tells us. Yeah, it just says grass, fire, water. That's what it normally is. Um, well I don't think I'm gonna go with Aromatisse. I do like Aromatisse. <laughs> which seems strange because Aromatisse is a terrible, but I, I I used it once in a Nuzlocke and I thought it was funny, so. I really kind of want to go with Ferrothorn, because I've used Stoutland so much, and Ferrothorn's going to be tanky. I think I'm going to go with Ferrothorn. I think it's the most interesting. I mean, Stoutland's good too, but... 
I love this, uh, how much it zooms in on Ferrothorn's face when I do this. It's like in, it's like in the fisheye lens. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go with Ferrothorn. I mean, it could be a fire type. Maybe it's not lying and I just got unlucky. Not unlucky, but, like, I don't think it's gonna be a fire type, is what I'm saying. Hopefully everything was randomized right, because I didn't actually do any testing, so if it's not, then I'm just gonna have to delete this recording and start again and recompile everything. And hey, if that happens, maybe I'll fix the evolution problem. What do I name this thing? Uh, let's go with... No, that's... I, I don't have a name for it. Let me just... I'll just name it a regular name. Let's, let's go with Jeff. No, I actually... Screw it, we're gonna go with Jeff. <laughs> Alright, we got Jeff. So I wasn't creative enough to find anything else. Alright, I forgot to turn up the, uh... The speech. Speed. I need to do that before we leave. Okay, please leave me alone. I know. The rivals in this game are the worst rivals ever. Actually, that's not true. The Let's Go Pikachu rival's still worse, but, uh... Like Trevor and Tierno are the worst. I don't mind Shauna, she's kind of annoying, but it's like... Ugh, they're not nearly as bad as Trevor and Tierno. And Serena's such a boring rival that I have nothing to say about her. <laughs> she does nothing and she says nothing. Okay. I'm just gonna check out their Ferrothorn, but first I wanna turn up the speed and change the battle background. Let's make it... What else do we have? Starters, EV, Monochrome. Tatami? I'll go with that. Okay, so let's see if my randomization worked or if I have to fix this. It is holding an item, so that looks promising. It is... it's not telling me the type here, but I have Pound and Felstinger. Felstinger is actually a pretty good move to have this early. And he's a great nature with Snow Cloak, which is not great. What's the type? Am I blind? Oh, it's pure normal. <laughs> I definitely went with the wrong starter here. <sighs> okay, pure normal is not great, but at least I have some coverage, I guess. Okay, I also randomized the shops oh, and the TMs. I forgot to mention that I randomized TMs. Uh, I randomized the shops, but the thing is, only the shops that don't have essential items will, will be randomized. Oh, she won't actually sell stuff to me right now. Oh wait, this isn't even the shop. That's the Pokemon Center. So, oh yeah, I can buy the power weight, and I can actually afford it right now. Wait a minute. Is that big brain? Should I do that? <laughs> Should I do that and just give it to Ferrothorn? He doesn't need his speed anyways, and I could just get his Eevees up. I actually kind of want to do that, because I think it'd be funny. And Tanga Berries. Actually, that's useful, and they're super cheap. I'll come back for those later. I'll just buy a ton of them. So yeah, like, the shops are randomized. I'm glad it worked. Now I just have to make sure the TMs are randomized. And then everything will have worked perfectly. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna have to do a lot of testing <laughs> on the different Pokemon because... You know what? Normal type is actually a blessing in this case. Because it's not weak to anything but fighting. So as long as Ferrothorn doesn't fight any fighting types... I have a higher chance of surviving. Because if I, if I started with an ice type, I'd be completely screwed. Uh, let's see. So yeah, like I said, I'm gonna have to do some testing, so I'm just gonna Felstinger this Zubat. Yeah, so it's resisted. Um, I mean, it could have been Poison Flying, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't. I actually need to get a type chart up, just so I can know what resist what, so I can... Does he really have Protect? I think he's normal something, since he has Scratch and Protect. Um, the movesets are completely randomized, so every three levels they'll learn a new move, and... Oh god, it has Brick Bridge. Oh, I think it's a Fighting type, that's why uh, Bug... That's why it resisted uh, Felstinger. Oh, okay. I, <laughs> I guess I just lost to a Zubat, if he Brick Breaks me again. There we go. Well, good thing this isn't a battle we have to win. That feels bad. 
I actually could have bought potions too if that if I didn't randomize the shops. Oh well. That Zubat wouldn't have given me that much XP anyways. Um, yeah, so I'll probably have to have a type chart up just to remember what resists what. Um, just in case I forget everything. I know most resistances. I think I think I know every resistance, but it'll it'll help for dual types if I need to think on like, oh, it resisted this and not this, even though I thought it was this type. There's a lot of things to think about. Also, I never noticed how large our TV was. Please leave me alone. I don't want to talk to you anymore. This is a pretty big TV. I didn't- I never even went in here! I didn't realize your mom actually had a room. That's crazy. I actually never went over here. Ever. And I've played- I've had so many hours on X and Y. Well, why would I ever come back to the house? Whoever comes back to your house in any Pokemon game, honestly. Yeah, the- the, <laughs> the- in this game, you're from Kanto, and that's why she has a Rhyhorn, but it's like that in, um, in Alola, too. You're from Kanto. I don't know if- is it like that in Hoenn, too? Are you from Kanto in- in, uh, in Gen 3? Okay, well, I guess I can get my first encounter. Oh, um, let me just take off this whip dream. One thing that I do need to do, though, is, um, the first encounter doesn't actually count on Route 1 in this game. Because it's always static. It's not going to be a Pidgey, because I know that it counts as a static encounter and it's randomized. So, yeah, the, the second grass right there always gets you the same thing. And it's a Mega Gardevoir. You know what? I think it does count, because it's a static encounter. <laughs> I don't actually have my Pokeballs yet, so there's nothing. I'm, I'm just memeing. But, uh, that'd be nice to have that. Actually, I think this first encounter thing only doesn't um, you know, doesn't apply if you, um, if you have Pokeballs. Because by now, you'd have Pokeballs because you can actually buy them in the, in the shops that I just went to. But since I randomized the shops, I wasn't able to buy Pokeballs. Alright, get out of here. Leave me alone. It's this thing rock flying. Oh wait. Yeah, it's gotta be rock or steel flying. Can I seriously? <laughs> Are you for real? Let me leave. I don't have Pokeballs yet, so there's no consequence for me dying to this thing. It's just being annoying. Oh, I just... I, I really hope I catch a fast Pokemon as my first encounter, because... Ferrothorn <laughs> is not going to be able to run away from anything. Ugh. I wish it didn't have Snow Cloak as its ability, though. Okay, first of all... Let's go into what was I gonna... Hopefully I can... Well, on, on Route 1, it has 100% catch rate, so I can just throw a Pokeball. Hopefully I can get something really good. Oh, you know what? Since I randomized the shops, there's actually a chance for, um, ability capsules to pop up somewhere. That would be amazing. Okay, leave me alone. I don't think the catching tutorial is randomized. It would be nice if it was. No, it's not. <laughs> Wait, it's not supposed to have a leech life. And it just used Tackle, even though it had Peck. Hmm. It'd be funny if her bag items were randomized, too. Okay. Just let me get my encounter, please. I can't believe, like, I, I was just talking about how, like, my only weakness is fighting when I got Ferrothorn, and then immediately that Zubat has Brick Break. 
But um, since I randomized the movesets, I, I think everyone's moveset is like spaced out the same, so they all should learn moves every three levels. So as soon as I hit level 6, I'm gonna get another move, and then level 9, and level 12, and so on. For every Pokemon, it's gonna be like that. And it does pre prefer their same type, so they should normally have stab moves. Okay, Noctowl could be good, but I'm, uh, stat total isn't quite the best. That's all I can judge it on. I don't know what its type or ability is yet. I don't know, maybe it'll surprise me by having huge power. Please surprise me by having huge power. Fire Bug? You know what, I can actually get with that typing. What do I name you? Uh, let's name it... Deast. <laughs> it's Deast now. And it's holding an antidote. Thanks, Deast. Weak armor, I guess that's an okay ability, and it's up speed. Minus defense, which is exactly what weak armor is. Um, I actually do need defense if I'm going to be using weak armor, but we'll see. I actually, weak armor should be okay if I have some good attacking moves, though. Yeah, not too bad. And it's an okay typing. I don't think the uh, forest has 100% catch rate, so I'm going to have to actually try to catch the next Pokemon. Oh, and I'm going to be turning the XP share off. Unless... Uh, Unless I need to. Actually, I might not have to. We'll see. We'll see based on my levels. Because um, I buffed everyone's levels. So every every Pokemon and Wild Pokemon's levels are boosted by uh, 15%. So later in the game, that should take into... Uh, that should matter a bit more. Why does everything else have stronger moves than me? Well, it's because I only have Pound and Felstinger. And Felstinger beats like nothing. It's not using enough moves for me to actually judge what its type is. Wouldn't it be something if you crit me there? I think this Nidorino is probably a normal type, considering it's just using Facade. Oh no! I sh oh, I should have switched. No, I think it would have killed Noctowl. Um, I only have two potions. And I can't buy more. That's really bad. Okay, I have to be really safe with what I'm doing. Please level me up. I need a new move. <laughs> I got zero speed. Lucky chance. No! <laughs> this isn't what I need. It's not the move I needed. Okay, I'm gonna try to level up, uh... What did I name it? Deast? Why did I name it Deast? Um, we're here in Viridian Forest clone. And uh, at least Shauna's gonna heal us while we're in here, so that's nice. I need to do a bit of exploring because I need as many potions as I can get. I think I should go back and get that power weight. The earlier the better, right? Yeah, let's do it. I think it'd be a good idea to have it anyways. It's not going to be easy training Deist though, since he's double weak to rock, and I don't know what could possibly be a rock type. I need to do as much training as I can. I have to be prepared in case I, um, I'm going to get murdered by something. I'll try my best to remember which Pokemon have which types. But it's not gonna be easy. I could buy some Tanga Berries too. I don't think I- I don't need them at all right now because neither of my Pokemon are weak to bug, but... Hey, they're basically free, and, um, you know, if I get something that is weak to bug, I can always hold it. 
and that would help me in case I find a random bug type, which is likely. So actually those type reducing berries are even more useful now since I don't know what could ha have a bug type move. Even if they're not a bug type, they could still have a bug type move. Their movesets are still random. I guess I'll use the last of my money to buy six Tango Berries. Therathorn wasn't really breaking any land speed records anyways, so the power weight doesn't affect it. I actually wish it was a steel type, just so I could use a gyro ball with it now. Fireball Ther Therathorn actually does so much damage. Is there anything that... Actually, you know what? I, if I have nothing else to hold, I'm gonna give the Tanga Berry to, um, to, to D's tier, because... Something could have Forest Curse, you gotta be prepared for anything. They use Forest Curse, I'm weak to bug. No wait, no I'm not, because I think Forest Curse adds Grass Typing instead of placing your type. I don't know, I'm just gonna keep it. <laughs> I don't lose anything for doing it, so whatever. I'm surprised I actually ran away, considering I'm holding a Power Weight and I'm um, just a Ferrothorn. Did she just passive aggressive the uh, insinuate that I took too long? She was like, oh, I guess waiting's okay too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the essential shops, like the normal ones and uh, the normal shops, like that just sell Pokeballs and. Oh, this is my encounter. I almost ran away from it. Rhyonel is a good Pokemon. It has no defense, but. That actually, that's that's a really big drawback when I don't know what things could have. But um, you know, it's 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 fast and it has a great special attack. So if I can get some good attacks for it, then okay, good. I was afraid I was gonna have to weaken it. I need something with false swipe. I can't just weaken things with moves if I don't know what they're weak to. It's pure bug. That's not epic. Uh, right with ice tea. So ice tea, what are you holding? It can't be a berry. And he has shell armor. Shell armor is actually amazing, and he's a good nature. Well, I mean, goods. He doesn't really need his defense, but it's better than losing special attack, so that's good. Leech Life sucks, and Astonish sucks, so we'll, we'll just see. I think I did reorder the moves so that the like most things would learn their damaging moves later, so it would be a bit more balanced. That's why I only have Ember and Scratch, and you didn't see any overheats early in the game. I did it to balance it out a little bit more. Uh, let's see. Oh, right, I was just gonna take this. What, is, what does this berry do? Poison type move? I don't have anything for that. So I guess you can just keep it. That would actually help it against forest curves. I know it's level 2, but I don't think I'll be able to fight or at least run away from a Diglett. I don't think there's too much else here in Santa Lou Forest. Except for the fact that they made it just to be a Viridian Forest clone. I don't even know why they did that. There was Vilas here. I mean, I guess that wouldn't have evolved for a long time, but it still would have been nice. Okay, come on, don't be like that. <laughs> Great. Um, I'm assuming the grass type. I'm gonna switch into beast and use Ember. We need a little bit more training, anyways. I can't be running away from every wild Pokemon. Come on. Their only attack might be uh, Sleep Powder. <laughs> I think all they have is Sleep Powder. I'm not gonna fight this. If it just Sleep Powders me constantly, then what's the point?
Okay, you can't even fight this guy because Tierno. Yeah, it is Tierno. Because Tierno uh, immediately just fights him. I wonder if I can go back and fight him, actually. I'll test it after I fight this next trainer. If Tierno goes away. Youngster Joey and his Magby. And the top percentage of all Magby. Okay, I'm just gonna get Ferrothorn to level 8 and then I'll switch out. I can assume that this thing's a dark type. So, Felstinger should. Actually, Felstinger's gonna boost my attack. I'm gonna go for it anyways. I really shouldn't. I should try not to make assumptions based on their first type all the time. I wasn't even right. Um, because <laughs> they're, they're not guaranteed to have that typing. I'm going to try to use Deist over Ice-T. I don't want to use two bug types if I can avoid it, and Deist is also a fire type. Is Agility a normal type move, or is it Psychic? I think it's Psychic. Oh, that's super effective. And I get burned. Good work, Deist. Deist knows what he's doing. First battle, and he's already a pro. You fool, you've only given Deist power. I actually do like weak armor, it's it's a neat ability. I think it could come in handy. Cool. Oh, um, oh, right, I also made it so some trainers could randomly give you items. Like this muscle wing, thank you for this useless item. Alright, let me leave. It makes it seem like it's lagging whenever that happens, too. Um, muscling kinda sucks, but I'm still gonna use it, because why not, right? It raises your attack stat by one. Like, actually one EV. It's so utterly trash, others, you know. No, he doesn't battle us. Okay, nice. Well, I think that's it for now. Um, I'll be back in the next episode, and I'll make it through Sandalone Forest. I... No, I, I won't be able to challenge the gym by next time, but I will get, like, three encounters, I think. So, that should be fun. Stay tuned, and we'll be back in the next episode. Thanks for watching.